shifting our focus uh, to Jammu and Kashmir. A policeman in Jammu and Kashmir's Srinagar was shot dead by terrorists at his own residence in Batamalu area. The terrorists barged into the policeman's house and opened fire. The cop has been identified as a Tawseef Ahmedwani. A case has been registered and probe is underway. Meanwhile, Jammu and Kashmir LG Manoj Sinha has condoled the martyr's family and condemned the act of cowardice. In fact, this comes days after several terror attacks were reported on civilians in the valley. In fact, this particular incident took place uh, last night at around 8 o'clock when Srinagar police received uh, information about this terror attack uh, on a policeman. In fact, Ishan Vani is with us to give more updates on this. So, Ishan, once again, we are seeing another cowardly attack uh, by terrorists, uh, now this time targeting a policeman. Um, what exactly happened there? Help us with the details. And also, has there been any kind of breakthrough in the probe? Uh, well, not so far. There hasn't been any breakthrough in the probe here because uh, yesterday evening when this policeman, we're told, was returning from his duty, who was posted at the police control room, and uh, that is when uh, these militants possibly intercepted him and opened fire, and in which he had received actually a bullet injury in his head, uh, which seems to be of a pistol bullet shot. Uh, now, there was a spike in the number of these militancy incidents on civilians as well as security personnel, but it seems that after a brief lull, there is again, happen. these uh, target killings are again taking place in the Srinagar city. Although there was an additional deployment that was brought of CRPF into Srinagar city to prevent such attacks, but uh, it seemed from yesterday's incident that police needs to regroup and rethink about their strategy because all these attacks are taking place in the evening hours. All the NACAs have been put in, additional deployment has been made, civil uh, arrests and detentions have been made uh, of uh, possibly of those who could be behind them. But uh, it hasn't yielded anything so far. We're seeing that in several incidents, police said that they have resolved cases by killing these militants. But at the same time, yesterday we saw that another policeman being shot at in Batmalo area. This is the same Batmalo area where a civilian was killed earlier, earlier you know, last month. And uh, now we are seeing it again a gunfire being opened at a police personnel. So, yes, uh, these attacks are still unfolding. Police will have to investigate how they will be able to deal with these cases despite creating, uh, you know, making several, uh, uh, you know, uh, trying to make sure that uh, these incidents do not repeat, uh, creating a robust uh, security grid. But at the same time, these incidents are very much taking place yet again yesterday. One has to see that what will be the investigation, what will investigation actually reveal uh, once uh, they are able to track these people who are who behind these attacks. Right, Ishan, thank you for uh, sharing all those details.